Hey there horror fans and welcome to Sly Spy Gaming. The Texas Chainsaw devs just dropped their first major update and it is literally game changing. So much so that I decided to cover it in this video. Before I dive in though, I just wanted to extend an invite for all of you to join me Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 7 p.m. Central Time where I live stream games like Texas Chainsaw, Starfield, Saints Row, and more. During these streams, I will usually talk about the latest game news, so feel free to join me and chat about what is happening in gaming today. Now, let's slice, dice, and dive into this new Texas Chainsaw Massacre update, starting with the fixes. First up, for all you hardcore PC gamers out there pushing your hardware to the limits, this new update implements a fix that'll have your game running smooth as butter. Apparently, since the release, there have been some stuttering issues for those running the game on ultra graphic settings. However, the newest update has fixed this issue, so you should experience a much smoother, yet equally as terrifying experience. Additionally, there were some major voice chat issues across all platforms, which is a major issue due to how badly communication is needed while playing Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Communication is key when you're trying to survive in this game, and the devs have heard your concerns. The voice chat not working in lobbies has now been sorted out, so family and victim strategizing should be a much smoother experience. The developers have also fixed an odd UI progression issue where you would pretty much rank up after every match, even though you hadn't earned enough XP to do so. As well as they've fixed an issue with some inaccurate XP calculations and XP delays. Last on the docket for fixes, this update implemented fixes for various crashes, including one on the PS4 when unlocking trophies, as well as a really weird one where high level players would experience a crash on the match results screen. Thankfully, this has been fixed, so you shouldn't be having those issues anymore. Now we will move into some of the game changes that were added in this newest update, starting with one specifically for PC players, which is the addition of key rebinding. This should give PC players more control over how their keys and keyboards react to the inputs. This next change affects players across all platforms, and it is a change to the amount of players needed for a lobby to start. Before this change, it was 7, which means that all players for both victim and family were needed for a match to begin. However, they have reduced that number to 6. This could cause some balancing issues on either side if the lobby is not full to start. But the lobby is still required, however, to have a leather face when the match does begin. Another change that was implemented in this update was a small organizational change to the menus. The developers have made the change to move quick matches to the top of the menu with the hypothesis that this will lead to quicker and fuller matchmaking. Lastly, and this one is a major game changer, the Texas Chainsaw developers have temporarily removed PC from being able to play cross-platform with PlayStation and Xbox users. The intention from the devs here is to stop players on Xbox and PlayStation from being paired against those who could be cheating on PC. However, as a non-cheating PC player, this one definitely sucks. It was already tough finding players and matchmaking, but with this new addition, it will make it more common to find empty lobbies as well as to find those who are abusing the game on PC. Hopefully Gun is able to beef up their anti-cheat soon, or else this could mean a massive loss of players on the PC platform. Lastly, I will dive into the newest development in the upcoming changes to Texas Chainsaw Massacre that were dropped in their Muerto Times, which is essentially their official patch teaser. Starting with a fix that is being tested where apparently Cook can actually XP farm locks. They don't really go into too much detail here, but I'm assuming he just puts a lock on, takes it off, and then puts it on another door, giving him the XP as if he had locked both doors. Additionally, the devs are making adjustments to the bone scrap limits as well as a test where the battery for the battery exit would automatically be turned on at the start of the match. They also mentioned that they are investigating a leather face stun resistance issue as well as an issue with the slaughterhouse valve exit. Lastly, they mentioned they are investigating various ability balancing issues as well. And there you have it folks, those are the spine chilling updates that have been dropped and the few that are coming your way in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button and do not forget to join me Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 7pm Central Time where I play some amazing games and discuss the latest in gaming news. Thank you all for watching and this is Sliced by Gaming, signing out.